Hey everybody, welcome back. Sean Hatzel here. And Karen Hatzel. We're sitting out on our deck in our house because it's wonderful summertime here. And in this short presentation, can you still get drunk and stay lean? <laughs> <laughs> so we all know that we're going to drink during the summer, but can you really consume alcohol and burn fat? And the short answer is not really. But you can radically limit weight gain associated with alcohol intake if you just follow the guidelines that we're going to share with you in this video. And we actually give you an action plan at the end of this video too so that stay tuned here in the short presentation because at the end we're going to tie this all together and give you an action plan. Just these little tricks that you can follow so that you're not using alcohol uh, as a crutch where it's going to help make you gain a bunch of weight. But first, let's talk about our favorite summer martini recipes and why we use this approach to stay lean while enjoying summertime. Don't you think you get a lot of people asking us that, honey? What's oh, it? absolutely. What's the best thing to drink so yeah. I don't gain weight? <laughs> All the time, everywhere <laughs> yeah, we constantly. go. Constantly. Yeah, especially during the summer. We all want to be social and have some alcohol. So first, always use clear liquor. This is the key. So vodka preferably, but you can use something like gin or clear rum if you're not a vodka fan. You'll see here in a second, Karen and I are big vodka fans or if you're a beer drinker just drink darker beers and that will limit the negative side effects of alcohol intake so clear liquor darker beers and this is where the misconception comes in Karen and I were just talking about this because why what do people think honey well they automatically go to the Michelob Ultra and I think now they're making one that's even 50 calories a less right lesser one um, but you know they think the less calories it's These a better lighter choice. beers, yeah, is the better choice. And actually, the darker beers with more calories are a little bit better for you because they have antioxidants and at least some nutritional value. And as you'll see in the article below this video, the alcohol still yields 7 calories per gram. So if it's a, a light beer or a low-calorie beer and it still has the same alcohol content as a regular beer, it's still yielding as many calories from the alcohol. And this is goes back to that label loophole that I was sharing with you guys on the blog a couple days ago. Don't be fooled by this stuff. This is just marketing. Stick with the dark beer if you're a beer drinker. Now, her and I really aren't beer drinkers. We'll, we'll show you. Our favorite martini recipes are right here. So first of all, we're going to start out with four ounces of vodka. We like Grey Goose and Belvedere. Martini shaker and ice cubes. Sky Vodka is also a yeah. good brand, too, and yeah. cheaper. Yeah. For people who yeah, we, are we, looking to save some money. Yeah, Grey Goose and Belvedere are kind of on the higher scale when it comes to price. So Sky's a good alternative. But it's about, gosh, it's almost half, half the, the price. price. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, and then uh, Blue Cheese Stuffed Olives. Those are for Karen. That's her drink. And My then, weakness. Yeah. And I use a grapefruit. And you can also use a large lemon or orange, too. Now, don't get confused here. One's Karen's recipe. <laughs> and one's mine. So the blue cheese stuffed olives are going to be separate from the grapefruit recipe. So we just want to kind of go over uh, the ingredients first. Now, the other healthier mixer options include club soda, flavored water, and vitamin water flavored with stevia. So here's the deal. Tonic water is like soda pop. It's loaded with sugar. Most people don't even realize this. Now, diet tonic is okay, but remember, you still got to watch out for the artificial sweeteners that Karen was sharing with you last week on the blog about the nasty side effects of those artificial sweeteners. So you're actually better off using club soda. And the same thing with the flavored waters. Beware of the Splenda or the artificial sweeteners. You know, if you make a conscious decision to use those flavored waters, and her and I do it once in a while, but we try to limit our intake of that. And then the vitamin water out there, they're actually flavoring it with stevia now. You just got to look on the label. And they're using a... Zero water. Right? Yeah, zero water. Yeah, they have a zero vitamin water. So it's zero, and they put stevia in it. And then the the... Even though it says zero, a couple of those vitamin waters actually use organic cane sugar. So the sh you know sugar is not obviously good for you, but if you want a sweeter type of drink and you have a sweet tooth, that organic cane sugar is way a lot better than the high fructose corn syrup. Okay, so let's talk about Karen's directions first. Go ahead, honey. Well, mine's the typical, you know, straight up martini. I like to take the pimento out of a fresh green olive, and I'll buy my own blue cheese and. Place them on a toothpick, or stuff obviously the blue cheese and the olive, place them on a toothpick, or I just sometimes set the olives right on the bottom of the glass. And then I pour my four ounces of vodka in the martini shaker with ice cubes, shake it really good so it's nice and cold, and I pour it over my green olives. And I serve it to myself, <laughs> and I enjoy it. 
So, and the key is... Moderately, it, needless to say. Yeah, and if you're going to consume more than one, and her and I will we'll definitely, during the summer when we're partying, we'll have two or three of these in, you know, an hour or two. So, you have to be careful, because that'll sneak up on you and bite you right in the mm -hmm. butt. Next thing you know, you'll be wobbling around drunk. So, well, we make sure that you just consume 8 to 12 ounces of water, filtered water, between your martinis. This is the key because, number one, you're going to rehydrate yourself, and we're going to talk about your damage control plan here in a second. But the other thing is is that it's going to help you so you don't get hammered. I mean, these are pure liquor, so they'll hit your bloodstream fast. So this is really a way to control uh, the intake of this stuff. Now, let's talk about mine. I just take a grapefruit. Now, again, you could use a lemon or an orange. I cut it into wedges. I fill the martini shaker with ice cubes, and then I start squeezing the grapefruit wedges into the shaker right over top of the ice cubes, and I squeeze them very thoroughly. This is actually kind of a healthier martini because of the, the grapefruit juice. is really good for us. Uh, grapefruit is, is actually, as you know from Wendy's plan, is one of the better choices to use with your drinks. Then I go ahead and just pour the vodka into the martini shaker over top of the ice cubes and the grapefruit juice. I shake it thoroughly. Pour it in a glass and enjoy, and then it's the same thing. Try to make sure to have 8 to 12 ounces of filtered water between the drinks. So if Karen and I, example, if we're out on date night, we typically will have a glass of water right next to us if we have a martini. Right. Correct? Right. Okay. So now let's talk about your damage control plan for summer. So i got to back up on something, though. Well, if I have three martinis, I don't eat all of the... Green Nine olives. olives. <laughs> that would make me bloated in the morning. Because all the salt. Yeah. Salt and the blue <laughs> They're cheese. They're more just a flavor. Right. So you probably... I do treat myself, though. Yeah, you have a couple olives. A couple of them, yeah. Yeah, they're delicious. I yes. love them, too. I always... The ones that she doesn't eat, I steal from her, and I eat, <laughs> just so you know. So here's your damage control plan. This Remember, this is the key. Pay close attention here. Get plenty of water to prevent dehydration. So I recommend before, during, and after your indulging in alcohol or partying... Focus on water. Pay attention to it because it's really the difference between whether or not you're going to be drunk <laughs> and productive the next day. Number two, if you know you're going to consume more alcohol than you're supposed to, it helps to make sure that your dinner is based primarily around protein and veggies. You're really good at this, honey. Mm -hmm. We were talking about this, what, date night last night. You only had... I had fish, salad, and asparagus. Right. And I had the garlic mashed potatoes with my fish and my veggies. So you can afford to. <laughs> I can get away with it because I'm a dude. I got testosterone. For you women out there, though, Karen's really good about just the protein and veggies. That'll really help you. And then make sure you stay away from syrupy, fruity drinks that are low with sugar. I mean, these drinks will have up to 500 calories in them. What were you saying? A Cosmo? Well, even a Cosmopolitan, a lot of people think that those are okay, but I think they're very close to 300 calories because of the cranberry juice. Right. So you're better off using the squeezed lemon or the orange or grapefruit like I was talking about. Number four. Try to get a high-intensity full-body workout or some type of get lean and 12 or hit before your night out of drinking or socializing. This will rev up your metabolism so that you'll process the alcohol that you're drinking or the bad food that you're going to eat a lot faster and you're less, it's less likely to go over to fat spillover. Because remember, the GL12 principles is to elevate your metabolism for up to 48 hours after you're done. So this will really help rev up your metabolism to chew up those unwanted calories and alcohol. Number five, uh, you're really good at this one, honey. Mm -hmm. Avoid the late night fast food or junk food after drinking. Now, the most of the time, I'm pretty good about this, but I have my moments. Right. Um, well, but, a lot of people think if they come home and they've been drinking that they need to absorb the alcohol. So, right. you know, they feel good in the morning, but right. not but good. I, yeah, because what happens is, is all this food goes to fat spillover because your body prefers alcohol as a food source first. So it'll sit there and use the alcohol, and as you consume calories after drinking alcohol, it's busy using... The alcohol is a primary fuel source, and it's busy storing the food that you're eating as fat. And that's kind of explained in the article below as well. And then number six, make sure you consume extra water and nutrient-rich vitamins, antioxidants, and food sources the following morning. This is the key to avoid the dreaded hangover. And then lastly, this is my MO right here. Plan for a longer-duration, lower-intensity cardio session the next morning if you have the discipline. In other words, sweat it out. I think I'm... I, you're better at that than me. <laughs> well, I've been, I get called out on it all the time that I'm right. a freak because I will right. get up after partying and I'll go run right. run it out of me. And it's just something that I force myself to do, but it really does work. So there's your damage control plan for the summer alcohol, alcohol intake so you can party, still have fun, and stay lean. Now that you understand this, the next thing is understanding what we're going to send your way Monday. And you're going to love this because this is the three biggest 
some are food mistakes that cause you to gain weight like a bear getting ready for hibernation. And you know, it's funny because these are just three little simple things that if you monitor, you won't gain weight during the summer. You'll at least be able to maintain, still eat all your favorite foods, enjoy alcohol, but most people make this mistake and they end up storing fat like a bear going into hibernation. And that's why we'll see people like they'll put on 10 pounds in two weeks just because they don't know about these three little tricks that I'm going to share with you on Monday. So Sean and Karen Hatzel checking out Get Lean and 12. Thanks for listening to this. Read the article below and uh, we'd love you to start a conversation in the comment section and let you know, let us know how you like this and then make sure you click the like button below so that we can share this on Facebook because you know, like half the people on Facebook out of the 50 million plus people that are on there are probably drinking alcohol. So let's help them. Have an awesome day and God bless. Bye-bye.